welcome to Grade 10 Maths Literacy. My name is Sushir Naidu. I'm talking to you guys about financial documents, let's get into some practice examples. So how many times did Ms. Sander buy? So if you look at this, we've got a till slip. Um, again, we've got to add up all of these items, but remember certain items, she's bought two of them, three of them, etc., etc. When you count them up, I get 27 items. Nice. Calculate A, the price per unit of the microwave popcorn. So if we find the microwave popcorn, so let me get rid of this thing quickly. There we are. The microwave popcorn right here, there's the A we are talking about. So what we've got to do, we look across and we see the 32,97. That's the total price for all three of them. What's the price of one? We divide this by three. And I get 10 rand 99 per unit. Nice work. Let's move along. How much change must the cashier give back to Ms. Zander? So if we go all the way to the bottom, right here. Okay, so I'm block that guy off there. All right, it's 400 rand that she has paid in cash. All right, we've got to take away the amount just above it. That one. Okay, three, two, seven. 70 cents, right? And I get 72 rand, 30 cents. Yay, we're winning. Question four, name the item that is zero rated on Ms. Sanders' till slip. Okay, so looking at the till slip right at the bottom right here, okay, right there, okay, we actually have zero rated with the hashtag symbol. So I'm looking at my till slip, I see it here, there's the hashtag symbol. White item are we dealing, dealing with, sorry? Mangoes. So let's write that word down. There we go. Very nice. Let's carry on. How much fat did Ms. Zander pay in total for her shopping? All right. So looking at that, the VAT total right here at the end given to us, no calculation needed this time. It's 41 Rand 70. Nice work, everyone. Let's move along. So in this case, we've got a store card statement. Here at the top, there it is, store card statement. Okay. How much does Bulelwa owe on her account? All right, so owing on the account, right here at the bottom, 240 bucks. 240 Rand. Nice. When is this amount due? I'm reading along. There it is, due date. The 1st, 06, 2022. Right, question three. How much money, or how much did Bulelwa pay into account on the 25th of the 4th, 2012? Well, it should be a two. Yeah, let's get that there. All right, 2022, right. So if you look at this, there, there's an ATM payment of 240 Rand. Nice. Let's move along. All right. Mega bank account fees. So the question reads, what is the monthly fee for having this account? At the top right here, there it is, 65 Rand. Nice. Let's carry on. Ababalwe withdraws 1,700 Rand at a mega bank ATM. Calculate what this withdrawal will cost her. Okay, so if she withdrew 1,700 Rand, we go to withdrawals right here. It says cash withdrawals. The first 1,500 Rand is no cost. However, she doesn't fall into that. She falls into this one, where more than 1,500 Rand. So let's read what she's got to do. It's going to start with 12 plus 1 rand 20 per times, okay, or part thereof, per 100 rand or part thereof. So how many lots of 100 rand do we have? We've got 1,700 rand. 
and we've got to divide that by 100. Okay, Let's see what we get here. Get 30 Rand. Nice work. Let's move along. Okay, tariff question. Remember, the common area here is not using the sliding scale. So I just want to set up a quick part in the corner here for our sliding scale. All right. Calculate the cost of 52 kiloliters. Okay. So the initial amount that we have is 52 kiloliters. Now, before we get started, you've got to read your tariff. You've got to read each row. Okay, there's my rows. The first row says 0 to 9 kiloliters. So the maximum amount you can get charged for there is 9 kiloliters. Then for the next one, it says from 9 kiloliters to 25 kiloliters. So what have we got to do there? We've got to take 25 minus 9 to get our answer to find the maximum amount of kiloliters we can use for that specific interval. So 25, <clears throat> excuse me, minus 9 gives me 16. All right. Then we'll do the same with the next one. 30 minus 25 gives me 5. 45 minus 30 and more than 45. <coughs> Excuse me. So 45 minus 30 was 15. And then whatever else we have left goes into the last balance. That's basically your sliding scale. Oh, the first one was a 9. You said the max you can use there is 9. Right. So here we go. The first 9. Okay. So 52 minus 9 gives me 43 that we still need to charge for. So in my first bracket, I have 9 kiloliters times 9 rand 50. Okay. Plus, let's keep working. All right. For, for 43, the maximum we can charge for here is 16. Okay. So 16 times 11,22, okay, plus, okay, let's go to the next one. We can still charge for five. Oh, sorry, that was 27. We can still charge for five here, all right, and charging for that five takes me to, that's five times 14.95. All right, plus, so that gives me 22, less 15, gives me 7, so that was 22, so 15 multiplied by 23,05, all right, there it is, plus, the remainder we have is 7, that gets carried over onto the times, 25,36. Okay, and we get a total charge here of 505 rand, 74 cents. Oh, nice work everyone. Let's get that one back to show you guys. All right, we jumped ahead there. There we go. Nice work. Thanks, everyone. Let's have a short break. When we get back, we'll pick up with the application stuff.